So the, all they have left is to control the narrative. And so they found a new way to do it. So here's a, there's, this is a, one of the ways, is if you're saying something that's true, that the establishment doesn't want to hear, they take your funding away. And so they're blocking alternative media figures out of, so now I can't get money. So now you, you can only get money through like Patreon, PayPal. I don't know what else, else there is, Stripe. That's about it. And so you got you got to have just like what they did to pot stores in California. They wouldn't none of the banks would take their transactions. Jesus Christ! So they had you to use, wander it through a cartel first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. So here's what's happening. Here's what's happening, and what appears to be yet another escalation in Silicon Valley's redoubled efforts to squash dissident voices since the beginning of the Ukraine war. PayPal has just blocked the accounts of multiple alternative media. So this is about war card. I told you. When the next war comes, it's all over, and here it is, and it's all over. These they they did it to Caleb Maupin, friend of the show, uh, Minar Adley, and Alan McLeod of MinPress News. Alan McLeod, I'm aware of his work; he does great work. I had him on my podcast too. Yeah. Oh, did you look at you, yeah. braggart? Uh, <laughs> so they said you can no longer use uh, PayPal. After review, we decided to permanently limit your account as we found potential risks associated with it. As a result, you can no longer offer PayPal services to you. Any bank or credit card information that's linked to your PayPal account cannot be removed, nor can it be added to another account. You can still log in and see your account information, but you can't send. Okay. Let us all that we can to build a better future. Well, uh, a whole lot happened <laughs> Um, seemingly kind of overnight around here. So there's a couple of things that have happened. First of all, Kayla Mal uh, Malpin from the Center of Political Innovation, who has been a guest on this show and has been a supporter of Hardlands, even though there are political differences, he has been supportive and we've supported him. He just found out today that his PayPal account has been frozen and suspended. Essentially, uh, they have said that they don't want to do business with him anymore, that they are uncomfortable. They, that he got a letter saying they were uncomfortable doing business with him and that his funds may be subject to a suspension of up to 180 days. Mm, my God, that's, that's going to severely impact his And that whatever he had in that account. Now, if he wasn't clearing his account, many people do clear out those accounts as quickly as possible. But I don't know what his situation is. But essentially what it looks like here is that he is being targeted possibly under various sanction rules. Now, mm -hmm. he is listed on Twitter as being Russian state-affiliated media, even though he that was his own personal account. It was not his account in, in uh, connected to his work on RT. Mm -hmm. And we're beginning to suspect, and we can't be certain, and we, we want to be responsible about this. We cannot be certain, but that's what we suspect is possibly going on here. The point is they're going after individuals at this point. People are finding their livelihoods uh, being threatened, not only in terms of platforming of content, such as what happened to Chris Hedges and Lee Camp, mm -hmm who all saw their life's work ripped off, um, you know, YouTube and, and in some cases Spotify. Um, but in this case, they're actually going running interference with people's ability to make a living or to collect funds that they have legitimately earned. Doing what they're doing to, to kick us off of uh, social media and whatnot. It's also the, the uh, financial transactions. And we saw this previously, again, with, with the, what they've done to the people on the right. They did it to Alex Jones. They did it to Nick Fuentes. They attack people's finances. And now they are doing that to anti-imperialist leftists. So Caleb Maupin posted this yesterday. He got banned from PayPal. You can no longer use PayPal. After a review, we, re we decided to permanently limit your account as we found potential risk associated with it. As a result, we can no longer offer PayPal services to you. Any bank or credit card information that's linked to your PayPal account cannot be removed nor can it be added to another account. So this is what they do. Caleb Maupin, he's the author of uh, Bread Soup Serves Imperialism. He's written other books. He is uh, the head of CPI, the Center for Political Innovation. He's been really outspoken over the, the past several months. You know, he's been on Jimmy Dore. He's, he's uh, been creating a lot of controversy in the, uh, in the communist space in the U.S. And he is now banned from using PayPal. But guess what? He wasn't the only person kicked off of PayPal yesterday. Mint, New Mint Press News, a alternative anti-imperialist news source, was also banned. They were also kicked off of PayPal. They also got the same 
the same letter, you can no longer use PayPal. After review, we decided to permanently limit your account as we found potential risk associated with it. As a result, we can no longer offer PayPal services to you. So this is what's happening, folks. Like, again, it's not just the fact that RT and Sputnik are being censored. It's not just the fact that people like Lee Camp and Chris Hedges and Abby Martin are having years and years of work deleted and that they're going after uh, Lee Camp's personal uh, podcast and got that deleted, which had nothing to do with his work at RT. It's not just that they're branding people as, as Russian state media. It's not just that they're... Um, you know, putting disclaimers on everything you post or not letting you post certain things, they are now attacking the finances of people on the anti-imperialist left, again, just as they did on the dissident right previously. So uh, I expect this to get worse. I expect more people to be kicked off of PayPal, for example, but it's not going to stop there. And this really goes to the heart of, you know, what they're going to do to all of us soon. They, they want to completely censor us on social media, which is why they created this Ministry of Truth. But they also want us just to be hurt by trying to say anything that's counter to the regime. And it's very similar to what they do to uh, other countries, right? What they, what they tried doing to Russia with the sanctions and what they've done to other countries with the sanctions. They want to censor and sanction uh, free speech advocates. They want to sanction journalists. They want to sanction anybody who's actually reporting the news is uh, very sad news and again very scary this is why i've been harping so hard for the second season of pfc we must protect our journalists a whole bunch of journalists who i have showcased on this channel recently had their paypal accounts suspended yesterday and i'll go specifically we had caleb maupin Minar Adley, um, Minar Muhawesh, now Minar Adley from Mint Press News. She's the editor over there and the creator of Mint Press News. And uh, Alan McLeod, who I showcased in my first episode of season two with some of his great work, they were all suspended from PayPal. So they're effectively in this country now suspending the funding apparatus for the best journalists in this country. This is very, very scary. Beyond that, the gray zone was recently um, smeared. NewsGuard, which is a very, very shady, obvious, not fact checker, but you know they go under the guise of a fact check website, has been talking about Gray Zone being a nefarious website. That, of course, is very scary as well. They went after Mint Press News recently as well. This is what I was trying to tell you guys on the General Strike Summit, and part of the reason why I suspect I was smeared so hard after I brought this up. The propaganda apparatus does not only fe force feed people propaganda and prop up their own lies, they also will censor hardcore anybody who is poking holes in those lies. And it doesn't matter what they have to do. They'll smear you personally. They will try to get your website shut down. They will also, in fact, cut off your funding apparatus. So what do we do, guys? We will... Pay attention to all of the journalists that do, in fact, get censored in this country, which is now a lot. The Gray Zone, Alan McLeod, everybody at Mint Press News, Minar Adley, and Kayla Maupin. We need to fund these people. Whenever they come up with some sort of um, you know, crowdfunding type of idea to help them keep doing their journalism, we need to figure out a way to do that. Now so PayPal has also banned Caleb Maupin, an American speaker and journalist whose work has already seen his personal Twitter account branded Russian state affiliated media by the U.S. state affiliated platform. Why, why should something as basic as cash transactions be subject to political censorship, said Maupin? The economic war on independent countries is turning into a war on free speech. Writers and journalists must be able to eat. Indeed, a very effective way to silence unauthorized media voices is to make it difficult for them to earn a living, making their voices heard. 